Well, hello everyone. I've got a special review for you today. And this is a review I've been wanting to do for a couple of years. So partly because of procrastination and being busy, I haven't gotten to it until, until now. But here we are going to take a look at Christian Dior's private collection. Also in French, Collection Privé. I think I got that right. If you go to the Christian Dior website, you can find out more about this. Um, now, there's only, only about, I'm not exactly sure about this, but I, it, I know there's at least six locations, or at most, six locations in the United States that sell this collection. Um, or you can buy directly from the Dior website. A couple of years ago, I had the chance to visit my brother uh, in the Washington DC area. And uh, there's a nice spot northwest of the city of Washington. Um, and there in Chevy Chase, Maryland, is a Saks Fifth Ave. And Wisconsin Ave, is a really nice area. Um, do some research on Wisconsin Ave and you'll see what I'm saying. Um, so Chevy Chase, Maryland, there was a Saks Fifth Ave and they have on the basement level lots of fragrances. They had Chanel, they had a Tom Ford boutique, Joe Malone, Christian Dior, Bond 9 New York, and Guerlain. Uh, and I believe there was a couple more there. I think they, there was Kiehl's. Kiehl's, I believe, also has some fragrances, if I, if I remember right. So, but um, in going to the Dior shop, I was introduced to the Dior private collection. And um, because this was a couple of years ago that I, I actually took some video and some photos when I was there, because I thought it was just so cool. I've never seen so much fragrance in, in one spot. And uh, so I, I lost, I cannot find the photos and videos, so I found a YouTube video, not mine, and I will post the link here and in the video description below uh, so you can see what that looks like. It's really nice. If you get a chance to go to a Saks um, or similar location where, they're, where they have a whole bunch of fragrance boutiques all together it's pretty fun <laughs> and um, so we went uh, my brother and I went around to um, all most of these and it was it was really it was really a fun time and um, so I'm going to introduce you to Dior's private collection uh, La Collection Privé uh, is Christian Dior's collection of authentic, elegant fragrances for men and women created using only carefully selected, exceptionally raw materials. Handcrafted in a traditional manner, these fragrances benefit from all of Dior's know-how and expertise. So, um, I believe there's 12 fragrances and in the photo um, that I'm, or video that I'm going to show you a photo where you'll see them all lined up and the colors range in, in a rainbow from, uh, you know, red all the way to violet and the colors of the fragrances. It's, it's really artistic. Uh, so these fragrances are on the expensive side. $210 for 4.25 ounces and 300 for 8.6 ounces. And I believe those prices went up within the past few years to what I just said. They used to be a little bit less. Um, now there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 fragrances in this collection. I hope I have the French correct. I'm going to do my best. There's Gris or Gris Montaigne, 
La Coye Noir, Oud Ispahan. Oud Ispahan has had some review on in the YouTube fragrance community. I've seen some YouTubers do some reviews on this. Feve de la Chus. I might have that. I might have butchered, butchered that. <laughs> uh, Cour, Cour, Canage, Bois d'Argent, New Look, 1947, Grand Bal, Leather Oud, Ombre Nut, Patchouli Imperial, Cologne Royale, Mille La Forêt, and Mitza. There's a lot, isn't there? <laughs> so, you know, you might not be able to afford all of these, or maybe you can't afford one. I certainly could understand they are expensive. But if you can get a hold of sample sizes, I believe you can get those. Um, you might be able to try it from fragrance net, I'm not sure. Or I know I did get a sample size of one of them when I purchased um, at Saks. This is a sample size of Granville. And here in this glass, I have poured out Patchouli Imperial. Uh, my brother also got Patchouli Imperial, and he got a sample of Leather Oud. So I know what these all smell like, but especially I've smelled Granville, Patchouli Imperial, and Leather Oud. Um, okay, so um, so this collection is, is quite exquisite. Um, and I want to introduce you to Patchouli Imperial, and I thought I'd taste it. Oh! I didn't know you could drink this shit. In fact, <laughs> it's beer. <laughs> the true Patchouli Imperial is right here, guys. <laughs> Do you know what kind of beer this is? It's Corona Light. <laughs> but doesn't it look like beer? Here, I'll, I'll put the uh, this bottle behind it so you can kind of see the color. But it's so, it's pretty similar. It looks like beer. So yeah, maybe this is a drinking review, drinking um, fragrance review. But don't drink fragrance. It's really bad for you. It'll make you sick. Could possibly kill you if you're not, if you drink too much. <sighs> By the way, Take a look at the description of this video and you will see my other channels. I may also add another channel to what I have. I might do some reviews on beer. I like beer. Anyway, let's uh, just put the beer, no. Let's put the beer over here so it doesn't uh, get knocked down. <laughs> anyway, this is not beer, but boy, it has the same color, doesn't it? And, uh, Patchouli Imperial uh, is right here. It's got a really nice bottle, and they they hand do all this stuff. I've read this. Uh, if you go on the Dior website and and read the history of the um, this private collection, you will see they put a lot of time into this. They uh, the ingredients are carefully selected, and it's got a nice magnetic cap. You know, it doesn't even screw on. It's magnetic and it is it is as solid as a screw on cap. But um, so as you can see, I've had this for a couple of years and I have not used a ton of it. And there's a reason for that. Uh, and I also have a sample, which is almost gone, of Granville. So we're going to take a look at these two. And I, I don't have samples of the others and it would take too long to review them. But maybe in the future... I will take some time to get samples of the others and review those as well. Uh, okay, so um, I'm going to post a description. These are from the Dior website. Let's take a look at Patchouli Imperial and then let's, let's smell it. 